The volunteers I met with are incredibly emotional about this because they spend their Saturday mornings and afternoons cutting the grass, trimming down the weeds that are often even higher than this surrounding the gravestones at this cemetery. So when they came today and found that this garage was broken into and things were stolen, they say it was about $200 worth of stuff that was either damaged or taken. But to them, it is so much more than that dollar sign. There are policemen and firemen and veterans and family members all buried here, all lying under weeds and trash and garbage. These volunteers do what they can, but maintaining the Homestead Cemetery is hard work and it isn't cheap. The money that that we use to, to maintain this comes from the volunteers. They've also had to clean up from vandals when gravestones were knocked over and decorative items were destroyed. But now someone is taking the equipment they use to maintain 37 acres of land. We had a canopy that we just bought. Um, we had just filled a huge gas can with $22 worth of gasoline. We had some chairs. Um, they're all gone. Um, brand new lawnmower that was tipped over on its side. But this, this is just like a knife in, in the heart. We all put in time. We all put out the word. We all try to help out as much as we can hmm. to try to keep the, everybody's loved ones remembered and so they can come up here and visit and not have to step through you know, yards of grass to try to get to them. And mm -hmm. to have people come in here and take things that didn't belong to them, it's not right. And the volunteers say that they did file a police report tonight with Munhall, but we are still waiting for police to confirm that investigation. I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.